Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, hey, my name is Kafui. In today's video, we're just gonna be getting my life together for 2024. We are in October, and so that means I have two months before January 1st, 2024. There's a lot that I need to do to just prep and get myself ready. I need to clean, I need to do a bunch of stuff. I need to clean my house down. I actually need to go to the grocery store to pick up a few things. Yeah, let's do that. I don't care if I saw you in a magazine Or if you're on TV, that one don't be nothing to me Don't need a shot, oh baby, I need a free Lick it like ice cream, that's if you mean to be disgusting It's not enough, chop my banana One side, I lie, then no stopping up Go shopping up, fuck that stuff today i actually had my co-worker he made me dancing beef he's vietnamese and so he just always blesses me with vietnamese food lately he's just been making really good vietnamese food and he's asking me to try it and you know me i would try it i would never decline food basically right now what i need to do is get this living room together it's time to declutter time to clean it's that season for real i cannot go into 2024 with my my home <laughs> ah! i don't even want to show you i'm embarrassed don't look I, I won't show you that's enough you've seen enough but for real for real i just need to get this house all together there is just no way i have oh my goodness my living room looks a whole ass mess. I still have my suitcase here for about three weeks ago. First of all, like my, I don't know how my house has gotten this dirty. I, I don't know how, I can't explain it. Don't ask me because I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I'm very embarrassed. There came a point where I was literally considering, don't mind all this, that's all my filming equipment. I have literally no place to put it so they just always sit there yeah like i have not deep cleaned my home since i want to say last year december girl not too much on me i've been super stressed i've been so all over the place just busy with a bunch of stuff and i it's still not an excuse of course because there is no excuse for me to be living like this we're gonna get everything clean at least the living room you know at least the living room needs to be clean i need to vacuum i need to just get everything tidied up the other thing that we need to tackle this closet i have to tackle it I need to declutter everything here. I have my suitcases and everything. I still have clothes here from last season. I tried to organize it as best as I could, but babe, there are some things that are just out of order, out of color. Some of the things here are just sitting here collecting dust. Yeah, no, I just gotta get all that together. All this together because no man i need to declutter just figure out where to put some of these clothes where some of these things could go i also could use some storage i just don't have enough storage so i never know where to put everything that's why you see all this stuff up here let's just start with the living room clean as much as we can tonight and then tackle it over the next couple days and then the closet we can declutter a little by little that's the way that works best for me i can't do everything all at once i get overwhelmed very easily we just gonna get it together gonna get it together i'm so
just finished cleaning and I'm exhausted. Oh, I'm so tired. The living room is so much better than it was before. You saw, girl, you saw what it looked like before. It looked like straight filth. I hope you didn't judge me, but if you did, it's fine because I already judged myself. I'm so happy because the living room is absolutely clean. It's not fully clean. I can't get to all of it today. I still have that whole table right there. This table right here. I still have to get to that whole table. Going into the new year, one of the habits that I'm really, really trying to instill in myself, I'm trying to become someone who goes to bed early and I'm trying to be someone who wakes up early. It's already nine o'clock. If I wanna wake up around seven tomorrow, I definitely need to go to sleep around late as midnight so I can get at least seven hours of sleep. So what I need to do now is take a shower and get something to eat. Guess you wonder where I've been I search to find the love within I came back to let you know It's time for the taste test Here is the food Yum, yum. It does look really good, I'm not gonna lie. I've never had salad with beef before, so this is interesting. And then also he told me that the um, salad dressing was sweet, so I'm excited to see this combo. Let's try the first bite. Mm-hmm. Wait. <laughs> Wow, this is bomb. Most of the flavor is coming from the meat. I can tell that it's been marinated because the flavor. Mm. When he said I seasoned everything, you don't have to do any of it. It was music to my ears. I'm just gonna wind down for the rest of the night, relax a little bit before, you know, heading to bed. The time is now actually 11 o'clock, which means my bedtime is in an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my dinner, wind down a little bit, and then start prepping for bedtime. <laughs> been a lot of hours i was just sitting down and reflecting on the past couple months and 2023 so far as i think back on 2023 i realized that it just kind of sped past me i don't fully remember 2023 like i have some gaps in the year and i felt like the main reason why i feel that way is because I wasn't living in the moment for most of it. I'm not gonna lie, the main reason for not being as present as I could be in my life is because I've been so tuned in to the digital world. I've been so tuned in there that my actual life was just passing me by. I feel like I haven't been 100% honest. There's a lot of things about myself that I just keep to myself, which you should, that's the right thing to do. No, I feel like I wouldn't really be who I want to show up as for you if I just kept certain lessons that I've learned in my life so far to myself. I just wanted to speak about how part of my reset and part of me getting my life together for 2024 is putting a limit on that digital demon. <laughs> Lately, my mind has been very foggy. My attention span has been extremely short. Yeah, I just spend so much time on screens. I've decided that I'm gonna do a digital detox. That looks like not getting on my phone at least an hour of the morning. Same thing applies to the night, really using that do not disturb feature. Also, I need to apply certain boundaries to myself and not get on social media 
for entertainment purposes past a certain time of the night. I've gotten back on my Trinoan routine even more consistently than I used to be. Like I'm actually taking it seriously now and my skin is peeling. Like you, you can see how tight and shiny my skin is. That is dead skin. You can see all this peeling right here. It's so embarrassing. I realized it today when I was at work. I was out here looking like a snake. I was giving snake. I thought I was giving that girl the girl. I was really just giving snake. Anywho, back to the conversation that we were having. This is poisonous. It can be good, but it can also do a bunch of damage if you allow it and I've been allowing it. If you're experiencing anything or you can relate to what I'm talking about, then definitely consider a digital detox. Spend some time away from the phone, get into some hobbies. My camera is currently dying as it always does. So thank you for listening to my TED talk. Hey girl, it is now the next day. As promised, it is time for us to declutter, babe. Ugh. This closet? I already showed you the closet for real. Turn the light on. <laughs> you see all of this? I have a ton of bags up here. An, an old pillow, old uh, sheets, clothes, of course. And then I don't even want to talk about what's going on down here. Oh my goodness. There's a whole lot. I have a bunch of my suitcases, backpacks travel stuff wigs <laughs> just things all over the place but like closets get like this you know i'm not trying to excuse allowing it to get this bad my closet has seen better days i feel like i've maintained it pretty well though because it's been worse than this before the mental clutter just feeling like i wasn't in a good space just allowed it to get this bad and to get to this point i also have this back here which is where i keep my sunglasses you know little things I keep my hair tools so my hot comb and then also my flat irons all that good stuff up there so the main space is really just the fact that I feel like there's not enough storage in this closet and so things just kind of end up everywhere I never know where to place everything I also feel like I just have too much too much clothes, too much items. Certain things just have to go because I'm not even using them anyways. So that's why we're here. We're gonna be doing this whole declutter process, trying to get rid of all this stuff. <laughs> I can't believe I'm putting this on YouTube, guys. Please don't judge me. I've got my handy dandy trash bag that I'm gonna be using to just declutter and put everything away that I don't need. I actually learned something today about a service called Thread Up. Apparently, they send you a bag. You can place an order for a bag and they'll send you the bag. And then basically what you do from there is just, you just put all your clothes in there, whatever you wanna give away, and then you send it off to them. From that point, they go through your clothes and decide what can be sold recycled and what can be donated so it's like killing one bird with three stones with all that being said if you weren't aware of thread up now you are if you're doing a declutter which by the way you should i hope this video is a motivation for you to do the same i'm not even all that into cleaning but i know the peace and the mental clarity that it brings me when i do i just want to get into this the sooner i start the sooner i can finish so Let's do it. I'm gonna be starting up here. All this where all this stuff is because no, no ma'am. A lot of these handbags are from Shein. I will just tell you right now, they're from Shein. Okay. I don't even wear them like that, I, I do not. I have this bag that I never wore. It still has the stuffing and all that in it. That's gonna go in this bag. I don't see myself wearing that at all. Same thing with this one. I wanna say same thing with this. This is actually a bit stained, so like, girl. Okay, so here's my thing, right? I'm kind of, I'm a hoarder. I always feel like if I throw something away, I'm gonna end up needing it later on. Let's say I wear an outfit and I want a white bag, a white clutch or a, a white handbag. Now I don't have it because I threw it away. So I always hold on to a lot of things, including clothes. I don't know, I'm kind of torn because you always kind of need a white handbag but I'm just not sure do I need both of these I feel like I can put them in the pile I should put them in the pile right girl yeah let's do it <sighs> 
Maybe I should keep one. Maybe this. A clutch is always good. This super hot pink. Girl. No. These two I will be keeping. I love these. I actually wear this one a lot. Whenever I'm going out, it's my go-to. This one I don't wear as much. Into the pile it goes. This pillow can honestly just get the foot. for now i can't get to everything today it's a lot it's a lot i'm really proud though of the progress that i've made i've gotten rid of a lot of old clothes and i've made room for the other clothes that i'm going to be hanging up and folding once i get all of my laundry together and in there oh with all that being said i am so tired i just want to lay down in my bed and sleep but of course I can't do that just yet. I have a huge pile of things that I need to get rid of now right in front of my closet. Once this camera shuts off, that's going to be something that I need to tackle. Yeah, girl, I'm so happy with the progress that I made. I'm gonna turn those lights off and yes. I'm going to take a little rest for now and just calm all the way down. I just need to i feel like i made a good amount of progress towards getting my whole life together for 2024 because my house was a mess you saw my living room worst of it we just cleaned my closet we talked about mental health and the importance of a digital detox which i'm practicing for real today just trying to stay off my phone as much as i can and enjoy my own company i enjoy making content but i always like to impact someone with the content that i make i want my content to be meaningful and so if you watched this video this far i hope hope that it motivated you to get your life together before 2024 because the new year is literally right around the corner. I've entered previous years just kind of feeling like the same person. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope that I was able to impact you. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much girl for watching. I always feel really good when I have my camera. It really just feels like we're together, you feel me? Because if we locked in and I'm switching up me so <laughs> as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you in my next one bye she in love and she been over once it's not like i know no for months this life it allowed me to take what i want